Deep in the heart of Africa, a remarkable story of animal friendship is about to unfold. It's a tale of survival amidst great dangers and challenges. At its heart, a lone wild dog. She's lost all her pack mates and must now struggle on her own. But this is no ordinary wild dog. She is a colorful character, determined and smart. And now she's forging a new pack with other predators, turning former enemies into friends. It's an incredible alliance. <laughs> but is it enough to keep her alive? Botswana's Okavango Delta is a world of surprises. This is where a great flood comes every year, even though rain hasn't fallen for months. Where big cats thrive in water. And it's home to a very surprising wild dog. Her name is Solo. She is the last survivor of her pack. But today, she's not alone. She's out hunting with some unusual companions. Wild dogs will fight hyenas over a meal and even kill pesky jackals. But Solo shares her food. These jackals and hyenas have just become her surrogate pack. And wherever she goes, they follow. Solo's home is the island of Mambo in the heart of the Okavango swamps. Until recently, wild dogs thrived here, huge packs with over 40 dogs. But other top predators are taking over. Spotted hyenas will fight dogs to steal their kill. Wild dogs are clever hunters. Hyenas, cunning scavengers. Both species intelligent, living in large social groups, determined to oust the other. But it's another predator that is decimating Mambo's wild dogs. Lions won't hesitate to kill other predators. This lion population has grown fast. Large prides stalk the bush and will kill any dogs they catch. By 2008, only Solo and two other packmates are left in Mambo. And then, both of Solo's mates disappear. Solo is all alone, a wild dog with no pack and surrounded by enemies. For 
days, solo calls for a missing family. Wild dogs are intensely social animals. Her pack is everything. However far Solo searches, there's no sign of her pack or any other dog that she can team up with. But Solo has a special character. She is strong-willed and confident. One day, out wandering, she meets one of her enemies, a young spotted hyena. She should be afraid, but Solo's need for a pack overcomes her fear. This rival predator now becomes the first member of her surrogate pack. Solo's new hyena friend has a high status in her clan. She is the daughter of the clan leader. Any friend of hers will be tolerated by the group. Spotted hyenas, like wild dogs, are social carnivores living in family groups. Perhaps this is what attracts Solo to them. Solo was aware of another rival predator here. The black-backed jackal. Jackals are related to dogs, but distant relatives. They are clever opportunists. These jackals also live as families and raise pups every spring. Solo befriends the young jackals she spends so much time with them, they behave as if she's part of the family. In only a few weeks, the jackals are her eager sidekicks. They've discovered that this dog has a great skill. She's an excellent hunter, more effective and faster than her companions. This motley pack soon follows her, an incredible hunting group. Wild dog, jackal, and hyena, all together. Now Solo has more eyes and ears to flush out prey and guard for lions. Once they target the prey, Solo leads the attack. Her hunting strategy is simple. First, sneak up unseen through the thick bush. And then, at nearly 60 kilometers an hour, attack. Wild dogs always share their food, but not usually. 
with other predators. <laughs> The dominant hyenas take first pick, but Solo dominates the lower ranking ones. By sheer audacity, she's found a place in the hyena's complex pecking order. At last, Solo has fulfilled a deep wild dog instinct for companionship. And her companions have grown close to her. Solo has found a new life. The challenges of being alone galvanize her. She's made new allies and thrived. But in this wilderness, a wild dog must confront dangers every day. How long can Solo survive without a true pack of dogs? It's been three months since Solo teamed up with the Jackals, who are now especially busy. Their pups are growing fast and hungrier by the day. By keeping company with Jackals, Solo benefits in one amazing and unexpected way. Her impala prey aren't afraid of jackals and don't seem to recognize the threat she poses. They allow Solo to come close. Too close. With the wild dog Solo making the kills, the jackals have never had it so good. A young jackal is eager to greet Solo on her return. It's begging sparks an extraordinary maternal response. Solo regurgitates a meal as she would for her own pup. Day by day, Solo deepens her relationship with the jackals. They're another species, but they're her family. Now when she rests, it's always in their company. The time she spends with the hyenas is mainly during hunts. She is safer with the jackals. They are always alert for lions. Their warnings will give her plenty of notice. With centuries like these, a tired dog can rest. It's April. The rains have now stopped, and the Okavango is drying out. It's now two years since Solo lost her pack. As the change of season transforms the bush, something in Solo changes too. She's an estrus and confused. She has no wild dog companions to mate with. Her instinct is so strong 
she presents herself to one of her hyena companions. These two predators, who should really be enemies, are growing close. But so long as Solo remains with her surrogate pack, she will never have her own pups. Solo's only hope of having her own family is to make contact with other wild dogs. But how will she find them? The Okavango is vast, and wild dogs travel far and move quickly. Even if she meets a new pack, they may not accept her. She's excited by the smell already here. Could it be others like her? Wild dogs prefer to communicate through scent marking rather than by noisy howling. This way, Solo keeps her presence hidden from resident lions. Her scent will remain for days and alert other dogs to her presence, if any show up. The winter season brings great change to the interior of Mambo. The last of the rainwater pools dry up. All that's left is barren ground. It's a reminder that Okavango is surrounded by the great Kalahari Desert. Thirsty animals must trek to the only water left, the swamp that surrounds the island. Also heading to the swamp, are Solo's prey, the Impala. Solo is forced to move on too. The pups are grown up now and will soon leave to start their own families without her. She will leave the jackals behind. Solo is following her impala prey to the water. Maybe there she will find wild dogs. She will be in danger once again, because lurking near the water are lions. With prides numbering nearly 30 strong, she won't stand a chance. Lions are not her only danger. The leopard is twice solo size. Leopards will kill dogs. Solo's boldness prevails. This is one dog the leopard wants no fight with. Not all threats are large ones.
banded mongooses are fierce little carnivores and have strength in numbers. Now it's Solo's turn to hightail it. Solo's destination is only a few kilometers away. In the morning, she makes a catch. But breakfast is about to be interrupted. Solo doesn't know these hyenas. She'd better give way. They could kill her. But an even bigger threat is on the way. And Solo's heading straight for them. Lions and hyenas are mortal enemies. And Solo's caught between them. She must flee. <laughs> An hour later, Solo is still running. She's traveling back towards her former home. She only stops when she encounters another family of jackals. Mother, father, and four pups. The pups are six weeks old and not yet weaned. For jackal pups, a wild dog is a deadly danger. Solo's attracted to the pups at the den entrance. Father Jackal gives her an earful. Solo's maternal instinct is stirring again, and this time, it's strong. She's eyeing all the pups down the den. Only when she moves away can the jackal parents get to the den. They call up their pups. and the whole family escapes to a new den. As for Solo, she's not going anywhere. She wants a family. The Jackal's new den is a proper fortress, a termite mound as big and strong as they come. The pups are settling in nicely, but their parents are still on edge, as if they expect another visit. It's the next morning, and Solo hasn't moved far from the new jackal family. She could have traveled dozens of kilometers since yesterday, but she's staying put. <laughs> mm. 
When the pups emerged from their new den, Solo was waiting for them. The jackals don't see her yet, but the mother still keeps the pups close with some strong discipline. Solo moves closer, and they spot her. This time, she has a new tactic. If the jackal parents won't share their pups, then she'll push them aside. With wild dogs, the alpha female is number one at the den site. The pups are inside the den. And Solo commands the entrance. After several hours, the jackal parents withdraw. And Solo has a new family. Right from the start, Solo wins over the pups with a good meal of regurgitated impala. Both wild dogs and jackal pups are fed this way. It's clear Solo can feed them well, but can she keep them safe? Solo knows this hyena. but it's getting too close to the pups. Her message is clear. Don't come any closer. The next day, Solo remains in control of the den with its precious treasure. The jackal parents are back, desperate to rescue their offspring. The jackals are clever. Father distracts Solo while mother moves behind the den to entice the puffs out for a feed. A fright sends the puffs down the den. For the second day running, Solo dominates the family home. But good parents never give up hope. Day three. Solo still controls the jackal den with its kidnapped offspring. She's taking to motherhood well, always on alert. Keeping the true parents at bay. And providing plenty of food for the pups, who are growing close to their new mother. Solo guards so closely, the parents can't reach their pups. Time for plan B. Wait for Solo to settle down. 
make sure the pups are out of the den and ready to run. And then move closer. It works. Solo is taken by surprise. In just seconds, the jackals make their escape. Once again, Solo's all alone. With no family, no hunting companions, and no pack. Solo remains at the termite den, a tired dog. The first rains of the new wet season are overdue. They will transform Mambo with a cloak of green foliage. Impala synchronize the birth of their fawns with this season. Food is abundant. It's also a good time for predators. Jackals timed the birth and raising of their pups with the flood of fawns. So much food will boost their pup survival. They eat as much as they can and carry more back to the den. Solo's jackal family is back at the termite mound. The pups are now two weeks older, with appetites as big as ever. One's bitten off more than he can chew. After dinner, it's playtime. Solo's back and looking keen. But the jackals have another problem. It's Solo's hyena companion. She can smell the food at the den. The pups are in danger. The jackal father springs into action. but he is no match for the hyena. The jackals need help, and once again, Solo does something incredible. Solo fights with a mother's fury, as if she's protecting her own boss. The hyenas had enough. Solo has made her choice. It's the jackals she will side with from now on. This battle has made them allies.
As protector and provider, Solo could have a huge impact on this family. Normally, only one pup in each jackal litter survives. With Solo support, all four might make it. Solo's break with the hyenas is now complete. She has remained with the jackals. And now has a front row seat for a very large migration that runs past her new home. These are some big neighbors. Elephants are good parents too, and don't want predators anywhere near their offspring. They won't tolerate wild dogs. change of season is loud and clear. Each day, thunderstorms break overhead. At first, it's sound and fury. And then, rain. Even at the height of the rainstorm, Solo keeps providing for her family. This time, she's on her own. Her jackal family will wait this one out. Recent thunderstorms are not the only big event to hit Mambo. For the first time, for a very long time, a large pack of wild dogs is approaching, and they're heading Solo's way. There are 16 of them, a formidable hunting and fighting force, here on a scouting mission. They've been running all morning and need to drink. They'll rest here until the end of the day and move again when it's cooler. And then there's a good chance they'll find Solo's scent marks and then Solo. They may accept her or they may kill her. A few kilometers away, Solo is resting with her jackal family. All four pups have survived their first crucial months, thanks to Solo's help. They are now one very big family, unaware that a dog pack approaches. In a few hours, Solo's life could change forever. But a more urgent problem approaches. Only one small jackal stands between the lion and Solo.
Solo knows this alarm. And now spots the lion. <laughs> The jackals are safe, and their warning allows Solo to put some distance between her and the lions. <coughs> Only a kilometer away, the wild dog pack is preparing for the night's hunt. Before heading out, they leave their scent mark. They set off in Solo's direction. This is it. Solo is tuned in to the night sounds. It's the pack. Now she can finally end years of isolation. But will the other dogs accept her? They already have their own strong females who could turn on her. It's a big risk and she'll have to leave her adopted family. Dogs are closing in. Solo senses that these dogs need to be avoided. Her strong instinct tells her to flee. The dogs come within range of the jackal den and find Solo's scent marks. Solo was right to flee. There are too many dogs. If there were just two or three, she could have joined them. But if a large pack like this turns on her, she won't stand a chance. Next morning, the Jackal Den is a hive of activity. The visiting dog pack has left, and Solo returns. She can smell a message. Wild dogs are returning to Mambo. One day she might meet the right dogs to team up with and form a new pack. But maybe Solo has already found what she needs here with her adopted Jackal family. With her help, they have all thrived. She has a future here if she chooses to stay. Whatever Solo does next, one thing is clear. She is no longer alone.